Hi students. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about asking you to experiment with a using a story as a hook. Um, we talked, we might have talked, we might not have. Um, many of you know that when you start an introduction to an essay, that often you want something at the beginning of the introduction that sort of hooks your reader, that gets them to care about the topic. Um, and I have found over the years um, that one of the best strategies um, and one of the best kinds of hooks is some kind of story that grabs your reader's attention and gets them to care about the topic. Um, so um, to give you an example, a few years ago, uh, maybe about 10 years ago now, I had a student who was writing about crystal meth addiction, both, and she was writing about it because um, both her ex-boyfriend and her sister had gotten addicted. So it was a very tragic situation. Um, and in the essay, um, in the middle of the essay, she wrote about, she was with her boyfriend um, the night he tried crystal meth for the first time, and she tried it with him. And she wrote about how good it made her feel and how suddenly all her jokes were funny and um, that they had this really fun night. Uh, but the next day she kind of realized, oh, that was really dangerous. I shouldn't have done that. Um, and it was a really compelling story. Um, and so what I suggested to her is that she move it to uh, the beginning of her paper, because a lot of her paper was about how many millions of people are addicted to crystal meth, what it does to your body, your teeth fall out, you lose all this weight, a lot of people don't survive. Um, but um, when she started with that story, it sort of started with, I still remember the night my boyfriend and I tried it. And she told the story about how good it felt. And then she said, now my ex-boyfriend is 98 pounds and he's lost all his teeth. And then she went in to crystal meth addiction kills this many people a year and it may kill my boy, my ex-boyfriend and my sister. Um, and the effect of that story was that it made um, this sort of careless moment when she was a teenager, um, it made us care about that moment and realize um, how easily any of us could have made a big mistake that could have destroyed our lives. Um, and so that personal story really grabbed you and made you care about the topic and made you want to read on. Um, so what I'd like you to do this week um, as you write a draft of your introduction is think about if there's a story from one of your sources um, that sort of um, might get your uh, audience to care a lot about the topic. For example, if you're writing about the hospice movement, um, maybe you write about when uh, Jenny Smith was dying of cancer at 42. She was at home in her own bed with her two cats and her family around her, and she spent her last night doing X, Y, and Z. Um, and, you know, the peaceful, personal, at-home death she had was only possible because she was getting hospice care. So somehow telling a story that uh, gets your reader to understand kind of the impact or uh, care about the top, you know, gets them to care about the topic is a great way to begin. So I encourage you to just try it out. See if you can find a story from your sources um, that will grab your readers' attention and get them to care about the topic, post it here, and then we'll look at each other's and comment on them.